This is the Bison Football Show with Coach Matt Ince. Brought to you by Gate City Bank and Pepsi. Tight and tough early in this football game at Gate City Bank Field inside the Fargo Dome. But the North Dakota State Bison would impose their will in this quarterfinal round matchup, pulling away from East Tennessee State, finishing off the Buccaneers by a final of 27 to 3. And welcome into our Bison Football Show. My name is Jeff Colhane here with the head coach, Matt Entz. Coach, congratulations. You. Anytime you're winning this time of year, yep. it's a good thing. Great effort by your guys, obviously. And on to the 10th semifinal in FCS playoff history for NDSU football. Ball. Great stuff. I appreciate it. It was a good game. Uh, that was a good football team we played. Uh, very fundamentally sound. Played hard. Um, but you anticipate that when you get to the, the final eight teams in the country. And uh, they're going to continue to have success. You can just tell. Yep. Your defense just continues to play at a high, high level. What, what impresses you more and more each week about their execution and the way they go about their business game in and game out? Well, I think the speed at which they play. Uh, having a great week of preparation, they all have a great understanding of what we're trying to accomplish. And then they rip fits. They're, they're playing really without any fog or any concern mm -hmm. about ex, uh, assignment because it's just reactive uh, and then I thought we really tackled well today and we needed to they had two tremendously talented backs yep tight game early a 0-0 game at the end of the first half it's been uh, this Bison team starting fast in their last three games kind of walk me through the first quarter and as you, you recap it in your mind some of the things you saw from their defense that they were trying to do to maybe put you on your heels a little bit well I think they saw that uh, probably earlier in the year some people brought some pressure uh, bringing five bringing and six um, to try to get us off schedule. They did some of those things. Um, we, you know, we missed a couple throws, uh, drop here, missed a throw that I thought could have moved the chains and put us in scoring position. But I think we settled down and got going. And I think at the end of the day, we were pretty efficient you know, with both our pass yeah. game and our run game. Yeah, the Tameric Williams touchdown train rolls along here in the playoffs. Two more rushing touchdowns, both of those in the first half for Tameric. He just game in and game out, coach better and better yep. every week and seemed like he saw things pretty well for you in the running game. Oh, he did. He, he, he runs extremely hard, got great leg drive, runs behind his pads. Um, it's seldom is it going to be one guy that's going to be able just to bring him down and uh, just the, the more comfortable he gets in the offense, I think. And then the other thing, I think the more carries he has in a game, the better he gets. Mm -hmm. Just one of those guys that kind of gets into a groove and starts feeling the game and um, that, it's fun to watch. Yep. Williams great again for the Bison, up 13 -0 at the end of the first half. How about our first half highlights brought to you by Gate City Bank. Talk about that one for a long time. Rydell will throw under pressure and engulfed. It's Braden Thomas, the transfer from Minnesota Mankato, who leads the team now with nine sacks. Come to the Fargo Dome to watch a football game. It is a one-of-a-kind atmosphere as Miller throws and completes in the flat to Babbage, the tight end. Conference tight end, a gain of a dozen. Out of the ace formation, Tameric Williams, the SMU transfer, finds a seam inside the 15, out of bounds. Another big run for the Bison. Let's see if they decide to throw here with Patterson. Didn't do that last week. They'll run quarterback power. Why not? Inside the five. The give is to Williams. Slips one and slips in. Miller will keep it. Now throw, a little RPO action, and a big gainer. It's Babich rumbling into ETSU territory, the tight end for a gain of 31. Is in at running back. And they'll set up the screen to Bussey. Accelerates through the hole. And taken down by the ankles inside the 15 by Manuel. And about two. Tameric Williams, touchdown, North Dakota State. Second touchdown of the game for Williams. 
All right, first half highlights brought to you by Gate City Bank. Our halftime stats right there from No Neck Insurance Company. Second quarter, pretty impressive from your group, Coach. 92 second quarter rushing mm -hmm. yards, 157 total yards in the second quarter of play, and uh, you're holding them down on the right. defensive side. They've got a Walter Payton Award finalist and Quay Holmes. Jacob Saylor's a heck of a player. Yep. Second quarter is where I felt like you started to kind of uh, dent them a little bit and loosen up. Yeah, it took us a little bit longer than maybe what you would like to see, but I thought, uh, you know, we started to be really efficient in the run, started to pop some some good runs. And again, you know, you want everything to pop for big gain, but those runs of four really pay off. You're staying ahead of the chains. Uh, I thought Tyler Roll continued to do a good job. And, and I thought Cam, you know, in the second quarter kind of settled down a little bit and kind of got into his groove. Yep. It was a code green type of day for Matt Ants and for the Bison. They would pull away in the final 30 minutes of action. Our second half thoughts coming up here on the Bison Football Show. Better starts with convenience. Our 43 convenient locations make running errands easy. Better starts with trust. You can trust that your pre-approval is guaranteed on closing. Which is one less thing to worry about. Better starts with saving you money. No ATM fees and no minimum balances mean how you spend your money is up to you. Because at Gate City Bank, better starts with you. And this means better ways to brighten your day. Gate City Bank, for a better way of life. Another rock and roll weekend. Burgers, better with Pepsi. <sighs> oh, come all ye faithful, joyful and triumphant. Oh, come ye, oh, come ye to Bethlehem. Oh, come and behold him, born the King of angels. Oh, Since NoDAC Insurance Company started, we've gone from paying by mail to paying online. Your proof of insurance in the glove box has changed to a quick tap to our online app. And as new technologies make farming more efficient, our coverage ensures you're always protected. The way we live and work has changed, but our values, service, and commitment have remained the same. NoDAC is constantly evolving to meet your insurance needs and deliver answers where and when you need them most. NoDAC Insurance Company. Agents with answers. This one's for every sports fan who just spent the entire game explaining to someone the entire game. You've compromised enough. Pepsi Zero Sugar. And welcome back to the Bison Football Show. My name is Jeff Colhay. And Coach, I thought that touchdown late in the first half was big. Gave you some momentum going into the locker room. Got it coming out. I know you didn't score right away, yeah. but kind of gave you a little juice, it felt like, going in and coming out of that locker room. Oh, I think so. I think we just needed to get in, you know, cons consistency. And I know I bring that word up a lot, but uh, I think it's critical it, it, in, in the playing good football. You know, we came out in the second half. We had that penalty that kind of slowed down. I think it was third and two, and um, one of our veteran, you know, players fall, fall start. Mm -hmm. And again, 
you can't get in your own way. You can't give up free snaps, and and all of a sudden we have to end up punting. Um, that was frustrating, but we did get it going in that second, in that third quarter. I think on the second drive. Yeah, we're talking about Michael Tutsi more and more coming up in a moment. Our NODAC Insurance Company Player of the Game, but he gets his first interception since the semifinal game in 2019 yep. against Montana State. Tenth of his career. You can tell he's got a little urgency. He's kicking it into a higher gear, game oh. in and game out. Oh, definitely. And that's what you expect from your leaders on your football team. Uh, you know, that's what you expect from your veterans. He's played a lot of football for us. He needs to be playing at another level. And uh, Michael's a very sharp, intelligent football player, multi-year, first-team all-conference player. Um, it was a matter of time before he got another one in his hands. Yep, a couple of sacks today from your defensive front. You guys are two sacks away from tying the single season record set by the 1974 and 2018 teams. Brain Thomas got one. Yeah. Pastor Ching got one today. Good, good to see him get involved and get yeah. in the mix like he always is. Right. I thought our guys, you know, we got good pressure on the quarterback all day. I felt like he was throwing off his back, uh, you know, off the back of his drop. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we forced him to move around a little bit. They went to some moving pocket stuff with some nakeds and things, trying to buy him some time. But uh, like I said, I, I, I thought we, we got to the quarterback even late in the game. Uh, we're impacting him with some decision making. Yeah. Hunter Lipke would, uh, along with the Rams, wear down that ETSU defensive front for the uh, final touchdown to cement this one on Saturday at Gate City Bank Field inside the Fargo. Let's take a look. Our second half highlights presented by Gate City Bank. On first down, Tamaric Williams sidesteps one defender and drags his way to the 40-yard line, a gain of 17. Holmes, Mostert got him in the backfield for a TFL. So Bracket on to punt, and Price waits at the 35. Price from the 28. Across the 40. Cuts it to the outside, and the punter Bracket brings him down. Rydell under pressure, backpedaling, and intercepted. It's Tutsi. Tamaric Williams has been able to differentiate, but this is led by the line. Kobe Johnson with an opening. Still going. And taken down inside the five by Price. First and goal, Bison. Three receiver look, Johnson the running back. Miller keeps it untouched. Touchdown, North Dakota State. Now outside the 20. Holmes meets a wall of golden green. And it brings up second and long. The Bison bring pressure. Rydell submerged. Screen to Johnson. Has it in space. He's got a first down and then some. Lipke. Still going. On third and 14, a four-man rush. Miller over the middle, diving attempt. And the catch is made. It's Rajon Nelson. Might not be for me. Here comes Lipke, the fullback, bouncing to the outside. Stiff arm. And he's able to pick up another Bison first down at the 10-yard line, a gain of 15. Goal line formation on second down and one from the 11. Lipke again. Lipke to Tonka. All right, great look at the second half highlights by Gate City Bank. 
Here's our final game stats presented by Nodak Insurance Company. And, Coach, defensively, again, a lot of bright spots, right. obviously. Uh, you hold them to a season low in rushing yards at 66. They're right around 225 a game. Season low in total yardage in this contest. They average, you know, over 400 in this contest, uh, or, or for the year, I should say, and you hold them just at 165. Yeah. I mean, it was a, a tremendous effort and just three points on the scoreboard. Right. I thought our, our kids were well prepared. They played extremely hard on defense, executed the calls, and tackled. I thought tackling was a was a, a priority this week. Both those backs have a tendency to fall forward. Runs a five turn into seven, and we didn't want that to happen. We needed to get them behind the chains, and I thought our kids did a, did a really good job. Um, pleased with how Code Green, and pleased with the entire football team. Anytime you can be playing in mid no, or excuse me, mid December, yeah. and get a win, that's a good day. Great day for Code Green. Great day for Michael Tutsi. He's our Nodak Insurance Company Player of the Game. Uh, it felt good to actually see a ball come my way uh, for a change and, and finishing on it. So it, it felt really good. It just felt great to celebrate with my teammates. And it had been, like I said, it had been a while. And it was a vital part in the game. Uh, really switched the momentum right out of halftime after they stopped us on uh, our offense coming out of the, out the gate. So. so Michael Tutsi, Indianapolis native. Interceptions, always fun for yep. a DB. And I saw the guys, man, pretty happy for uh, 25 when he got that interception. He deserves it, no question about it. Well, he, he's one of our team leaders. He's one of, he's kind of the, the energizer of that back end. Uh, has a lot of street crits, played a lot of football for the Bison yeah. and for Code Green. And, and just to see our best players make good plays, I think everyone appreciates that. And um, that was a big time. I, I believe that interception turned into some points. Yes, it did. You know, Any time you can do that, we gave our offense the ball back about midfield, 45 yard line. Um, that's a big swing. Yeah, making his 39th consecutive start to Coach's Point, playing a lot of football here at NDSU. Well, Joe Stuffel is a young tight end. His role is increasing here in the postseason. The Bison need him now more than ever. We'll uh, take a look at that. Don Mizzo talks with him on our Olaf Anderson feature story coming up next. Oh, Bud Light Seltzer Retro Tile. <laughs> Try these yet? Bud Light Salsa Retro Tata, the loudest flavors ever. Oh, come all ye faithful, joyful and triumphant. Oh, come ye, oh, come ye to Bethlehem. Oh, come and behold him, born the King of Ages. Bison Nation, this is head football coach Matt Entz. With all that goes into leading the Bison to victory, the last thing I want to worry about is the clothing I need to look and feel my best. I shop at Halberstadt's West Acres because I trust that they provide me with everything I need for meetings at the office, press conferences, and casual Bison attire. With plenty of options for sport coats, shirts, denim, suits, shoes, and accessories, I'm confident that when I need anything and everything menswear, Halberstadt's West Acres has me covered. Oh, Bud Light sells for retro tie-dyes. <laughs> Try these yet? Bud Light Seltzer Retro Tata, the loudest flavors ever. And welcome back into the Bison Football Show. Well, Joe Stuffel, a young man at tight end, he's playing more and more snaps in the biggest games of the season. Dom Izzo talks with him. It's our Olaf Anderson feature story. Playing as much as you have, especially getting some big time special teams reps, what is that? Has that even been quicker than you thought in your own personal timeline of getting out on the field? Uh, yeah, it actually really has. Um, I was not expecting it. Definitely found it in special teams, and uh, I really like KOR, so and I like investing my time into it. We feel it by Joe Stuffel, the up man for the Bison. Freshman tight end will get out to the 32-yard line. Did you play kickoff return in high school? Did you do any special teams in high school? Uh, yeah, I did some special teams. Um, 
I was on kickoff return, but I mean, it had nothing, nothing to do with like, like it is here. I mean, I never got the ball kicked to me. <laughs> um, um, it wasn't as uh, special there, I guess, as it is here. So <laughs> first couple times it was actually kicked to you, and you were going to have to field it. What was going through your mind? Um, I mean, those couple. So I mean, of course, we planned throughout the week, and uh, we are we are heads up that they might kick it to our ends. But uh, I mean, when the, it's the first kick of the game, you're not really expecting it. And I mean, Coach Pauly says that if you get it and you have room, you know, take your room. So yeah, so. I, it does surprise you. It kind of wakes you up a little bit too. It gets the blood flowing, but uh, it's it's uh, it's a good thing. I like like touching the ball, so you know it's it's fun. But now that you've you've actually touched the ball, how eager are you for your reception? Actually, to you know get out there and catch the ball. Uh, yeah, I'm getting I'm getting eager, but uh, um, those go to Josh and Noah right now. So I gotta I gotta block first. Uh, I gotta get my uh, get my experience up, and then I and then I'll get the ball once uh, once I uh, do my time. All right, thanks to Don Mizzle for that. And Joe Stuffel, he's a guy that's played yep. some snaps for you more and more now at the end of the year. And your tight end room uh, banged up a little bit right now, and Joe's going to have to be a big contributor for you here down the stretch. He is. He's a talented young man. He's really bought into our system. He's, he's learned our system offensively. Coach Kramer's done a great job of preparing him. Uh, we knew there was going to be big things from him when he came out of high school, and and he's and he's he's doing that. Uh, he's our third tight end. He's had to move into that second position because of injury, and um, this is really good for him and his development moving forward. Yep. All right. Time now for our great clips. Great question of the week. It's brought to you by Great Clips. It's going to be great. Go to the WDAY Facebook page to ask Coach a question. This one from Pete in Walker, Minnesota. Coach, what's the toughest challenge about getting ready for a team that you haven't seen that's a first-time opponent like ETSU? Well, I think just trying to find out what the competition level of the teams that they've played because uh, like ETSU, we haven't played in really any of those teams that yeah. they've played either. And so you're trying to, you know, who's good, who's solid, who plays really good defense, who, who's offensively challenging. And how do you how do you relate that to our kids and to the preparation that go that's necessary to go into a game? Yep, there you go, Pete. Thank you for the question. There, great clips. It's gonna be great. Well, we take a look at our Peterson Farm Seed Future Crop of Bison coming up next, and it's the Dukes of James Madison coming to town for the semifinals. We get coaches' stats on that when we return on the Bison Football Show. Better starts with convenience. Our 43 convenient locations make running errands easy. Better starts with trust. You can trust that your pre-approval is guaranteed on closing day, which is one less thing to worry about. Better starts with saving you money. No ATM fees and no minimum balances mean how you spend your money is up to you. Because at Gate City Bank, better starts with you. And this means better ways to brighten your day. Gate City Bank, for a better way of life. Powerful and playful. Delicate and precise. Bold and carefree. It's the way you move, and it moves us. To deliver care for your whole family, to provide options beyond the expected, 
help you leave pain in the past and find your way forward. Orthopedics and Sports Medicine at Sanford Health. Health lives here. And welcome back to the Bison Football Show. Chris Harris, a wide receiver, El Paso, Texas. Interesting way he connected with the uh, Bison football coaches. That's going to be something we talk about in our Peterson Farm Seed future crop of Bison. Growing up in a military family, Chris Harris is a guy that is used to moving around from places like South Korea all the way to Wisconsin, where he first heard about NDSU. When I lived in Wisconsin a couple years ago, Seth Wilson and Cole Wisniewski lived in the same area as me, and just seeing the success that they had, I just wanted to kind of do the same thing almost and just follow their steps. Harris might not have known it, but he started to build relationships and have discussions that stuck with him for years. Seth went to my rival school and then Cole and I have had some conversations before, so it was kind of just a no-brainer for me. After spending years traveling around, Harris is excited to be settled with the bison. I'm telling him it gets, it's not going to get any better, so you just got to try to get used to it. So I guess that's just the main thing for me, just trying to get used to it and adapt to it where it stays as warm as possible. The freshman also had to make some adjustments on the gridiron. Everyone's good. It's not like high school. You run by guys and you're wide open. You got to do a lot more technique. Fortunately, the wide receiver has found his home away from home. Nice. Phoenix Sproles, uh, Christian Watson, and, and Zach Mathis, those guys have kind of just taken me under their wing. Uh, them mostly being from different parts of the country just tell me you know it's gonna you're gonna get homesick here and there but they really just make me feel like home and teach me a lot since I've been here and continue to do that. I'm Logan Campbell reporting. And big thanks to Logan Campbell for that piece right there. Chris Harris big body wide receiver yes. has a lot of potential. He was he was getting in touch with you guys as much as you guys were getting in touch with him during the recruiting process. Kind of a fun story with Chris. He did he sought us out uh, military family um, mom used to be stationed in southwest Wisconsin, and that's where he became a fan of the bison, and this is where he wanted to be. And uh, I think mom's now stationed over maybe overseas, wow. and so this has become home for Chris. And uh, like you said, big, long kid that's going to have huge upside uh, as he continues to grow, learn our offense, and um, he, the spring's going to be really good for him. Yep, well, four quarters to Frisco. Semifinal round matchup coming up this next week. Opponent preview brought to you by Gate City Bank. It's a team that Bison Nation knows well. The Dukes of James Madison come to town. I know you got a lot of respect for Kurt Signetti, mm -hmm. and this is going to be one heck of a football game this upcoming weekend. Well, I would anticipate it will be. Uh, two teams that I think have great respect for one another. Uh, I've gotten to know Coach Signetti over the, since our uh, national championship mm -hmm. game in 2019. Him, him and I have... Uh, stayed in touch, and uh, uh, they're always well coached. They play extremely hard. Uh, we're going to have our hands full. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, when you get to the semifinals, what do you anticipate? Yeah, absolutely. Coach, great win, and uh, best of luck this week in Appreciate preparation. It. Thank you. There you go. That's the head coach, Matt Entz. By the way, named AFCA Region 4 Coach of the Year for the third consecutive season. Shout out Halberstad's West Acres, the official men's clothiers of NDSU Athletics. My name is Jeff Colhane. Thank you for watching. Good night, Bison Nation. Today's Bison Football Show with Coach Matt Entz has been presented by Gate City Bank and Pepsi. This is the North Dakota State University Bison Sports Network from Learfield. Catch Bison men's basketball on WDAY Extra. Watch NDSU take on the Indiana State Sycamores. Monday at 7 p.m. Bison basketball only on WDAY Extra. Stay